All right, let us answer this example here. It says, make sure you got your highlighter ready. Hannah has realized she needs to start planning for her retirement. She found a perpetuity account, which will give her 4.2% per annum compounding monthly on her investment. If by retirement, she has built a perpetuity of $750,000, how much will she receive per month? First things first, figure out what you don't know. I don't know how much we're going to receive per month. That means I don't know what the PMT is. What do I know? Well, I know I'm dealing with a perpetuity. So that means N is equal to one. And remember, that's just convention. We could really make whatever we want, but it's just easier just to make it one. My interest rate is 4.2. The present value is the amount of money that uh, we put into the perpetuity. Now, remember, this is going to be negative because it's no longer in our pocket. It's going to be 750,000. But remember, let's zoom in here. We're putting it into the perpetuity. It's no longer in our pocket. That means it's going to be negative 750. One, two, three. Right, let's zoom out. Importantly, what is my future value going to be? Well, remember, this is a perpetuity. I'm always going to have $750,000 in the account. But remember, the future value obeys its own rules. We're going to say that it's going to be positive $750,000 in there. But what that's saying is that I'm always going to have the same balance in there. So now I'm going to write $750,000 and it's going to be positive. My PPY and CPY, well, I'm receiving the payments monthly and it's compounding monthly. Remember that that number will always be the same. And because it's monthly, there are 12 months in the year. Now I can use my finance solver, menu 8, 1. That's going to be 1. That's going to be 4.2. My present value will be negative 750, 1, 2, 3. My payment, I don't know. My present value will be positive 750, 1, 2, 3. And my PPY will be 12 and my CPY will be 12. I come here, I hit enter. And I'm going to get, I'm going to put it here. Now, uh, this doesn't have to be uh, round, there's nothing, there's no rounding needed here, but I'm still going to write 2625, which means my answer will be 2625. Perfect. That's how you do it. Hopefully that has made sense on how to approach that question right there.